Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, we're going to see um, both an enhanced view, detailed view of the surface and the, of both of the cities and also the many different levels that are on the surface of the moon. I say every time, 50 times each video. But these are things that I wanted to see and really made me happy seeing that the moon was not flat. And it comes into consideration when you're making a decision of what you think is up there, whether it's B flat or not, to get a real idea of exactly what's up there. Now look at this beautiful illuminated city on the surface of the moon in certain various parts. You see either chemicals, products, whether it be water, material, camo. We know that it is a substance or product that's there that looks unnatural and if it's natural it's still fascinating we should be studying it to find out what these things are there are symmetrical structures on the surface of the moon I mean that's as much proof as we can get and it's as much knowledge as we need to be able to explore the moon in further detail like we have not for so many years okay China went up. There were problems at sinus iridum. Of course. Damn right there were problems at sinus iridum. No room to land there, I'll tell you that. It's entirely industrialized. They'd be lost in the smoke. Um, they lose contact with the uh, Earth most definitely. Yet, of course, the towers that are on the moon, maybe there are they are communication devices for us humans here. We've been up there for hundreds of years. Us, I mean, like from Earth, but maybe thousands of years. But so long what we know, we, we have never been on the moon until 1969. Hmm. Well, that's all changed now. Do you know that Neil Armstrong and uh, actually, yeah, I think he did too, but no, I'm sorry. Buzz Aldrin, I mentioned this a couple of videos back, if not the last one, I'm, I'm probably repeating myself. Buzz Aldrin talks about, look at the city here, cutting up myself off here, wow. Buzz Aldrin talks about admitting clearly in detail, and yes, on a broadcast television show, if not a media network, it was a talk show saying that, look, they weren't going to blurt out that there was a UFO following them down to the moon. They saw an area on the surface before they got to their destination landing point when they were in low atmosphere, low altitude over the uh, top of the moon. What happened? Buzz Aldrin and or Neil Armstrong calls Houston and they reply, you are 6,000 feet away as uh, sorry <laughs> 6,000 kilometers away from your destination if not 6,500 kilometers away from the destination and what happened is they were seeing lights on the surface and there was also a light following them Apollo 11 Buzz Aldrin admitted this I'm not making this up Buzz Aldrin is what most people why most people disbelieve us YouTubers. We're now talking exactly about the main source, one of the men that were up there, Buzz Aldrin, along with Neil Armstrong, admitting to having seen something up there, but not necessarily blurting it out. We all obviously can come to the conclusion, guys, that they're not allowed to say anything. Come on. It's like working for a big company like Ford or any company. Oh, bad, bad choice. But anyways, working for Ford, for example, uh, you're present there for president there for like 40, 50 years almost there. Okay, that's it's go all out. And then you lose your job. Do you know that if you start defaming the company you work for all your life, you'll go to jail? Yeah, well, that's how it works here on Earth. That is how it works. The system we have is, uh, <laughs> I hate it. I really hate the system. We have to reorganize it. We have to reinvent it. The youth today has to reinvent 
the system and always be sure that you have a say in what is being chosen in any decision for any given event or important political event etc anything we have to have say we don't have enough say in anything look at the illuminated city on the surface of the moon you notice how all the cities are inside these lower areas so see what that means is that when you're on the surface you can't see the cities basically because you can only see the structures and or anomalies that are on the, the upper surface so it's an easy way to get away uh, to hide in, in the city to uh, go through tunnels to evacuate the moon entirely with their crafts i mean we're talking light speed we're talking like total bat cave guys okay these guys can leave in a flash they can leave their planet in a flash and not like here not like a couple of crafts leaving there are many hundreds if not hundreds of thousands maybe millions of crafts in the universe imagine just on the moon how many crafts can be there they can be out in a flash we'd never be able to invade them and that's besides the fact of their invisibility it exists we have invisibility cloaks ourselves military existed uh, invented it if it's not military invented it's definitely military owned now um, this area where the supposed spaceship i like calling it this area it's in the southern highlands the supposed spaceship we can see the beautiful surface what looks like either blue spots it could be water it could be frozen water this is what really intrigues me and maybe not maybe it's just a haze maybe it's just a reflection of a mineral like surface that has a bluish hue uh, yellows greens uh, rainbow color it literally looks like in the bottom of an aquarium does it not uh, looks moist looks like uh I don't know it looks like they're in the bottom of an ocean uh, it, there's water up there something there's something about it some uh, guy posted an amazing rocket going into space and stopping just like it was in water he mentioned this on his channel and he was very smart to do so and he's not alone in thinking that there's water out there but i had not thought of that one with the rocket but i'm, I'm noticing other things but yeah great observation it's it's a reality it's uh, uh, the UFOs I got the other day. I mean, my gosh, you know, what is there not to believe? That's what I'm having a hard time understanding is what is it not to believe? Now that we all know enough information that there is something out there that we're relied to, we should all come together and find a way on how to communicate with um, our governments and uh, properly uh, ask them to tell us what's going on to give us uh, a hint without having to divulge every secret nation's uh, protection you know i mean come on there they tell us nothing we'd appreciate some uh, information back we give all our money to you guys do you think it's because we um yes you the government do you think it's because we appreciate your system no we don't we wish we had more say but the law is the law and those who follow the law like I do follow the law and we complain that's all we do but one day it's not going to be just about complaining and the world is going to get fed up and we are all going to come together it's happening right now and uh, people want more answers people have more technology more hand hand on tools to use uh, the, the internet computers to do their own researching for example planetary research like I'm trying to do right now myself and doing good jobs many channels out there are doing so and it's just absolutely amazing to think the fact that there could be other species on other planets it's what drives me to do this researching uh, getting the bigger telescope is going to be fascinating on the channel we're going to see so much more and you know what how much more are we going to see well i'll tell you what this photo right here with the detail i'll get with the other telescope will be able to bring that little yellow spot in the center there with some red along the side right here that little smudge we'll be able to bring it as wide as this and on top of that area which could be an area anywhere from two and a half to six miles 
we will see hundreds if not thousands of details of the surface terrain using both x-ray infrared uh, many other filters it's it's there's a way of applying filters guys eh, to to the videos if you apply a filter and then take off a filter uh, well and save it well what happens is sometimes the filter doesn't entirely come out of the photo you can take out the color for example but keep the detail in it and sometimes that's a must uh, to be able to see the surface this is just an exquisite overall surface detail of the surface of the moon it's absolutely amazing when you look in this area it looks pretty curious and look there are walls you can clearly see um, that it, yeah they could be natural but they are there walls the moon is infested with walls but inside of these areas things are going on whether it be a natural um, uh, a natural substance on the surface or a natural smoke or haze a reaction to the Sun whatnot there it's still something that's going on in various areas of the moon that are different to other areas a lot more than here on earth and what I wish people would understand more is that there is so much color out in space we can't see color in space because of uh, the optics look it up look up why our uh, it's our eyes the optics to our eyes because of our eyes we cannot see color in space when you're looking at all the beautiful stars you don't see color you see all see white twinkling stars yes uh, at times we can see reds the blues uh, some of them twinkling red of Mars Venus red too but in general our eyes cannot see color in space and when you go through a post-processing of either a video uh, footage or a photo you can get the virtual color that's on the surface now whether we're seeing uh, gases hazes it's that's the hard thing is to find out exactly what it is that we are seeing and often we may be stumped of course but it's by trying to analyze what's on the surface it helps us guys I saw one symmetrical structure on the moon that was it for me the proof is there and of course there are more structures and we're seeing them there it's overwhelming yes because I'm literally showing you 150,000 structures right now in an area where it's gray. But we see it gray. Like if you were on the moon, you would see Earth gray the same way, the very exact same way. Why? Because our spectrum of our eyes cannot see Earth um, and its color at that distance. But ha, what is the distance of Earth and the moon? I would love to take off from here in a spaceship just to go around the moon and come back to see how long it would take me I would bring my camera and I would be able to show you every single secret of the surface of the moon I would guarantee you a 360 panoramic degree view of the moon do you not think that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin could have given us uh, at least guys one pano one panoramic shot of the of an overhead view of the entire planet like I do from here on earth for Christ's sakes it's not that hard to do they could have very easily taken photos of the many elevated levels I mean like an entire area on the surface of the moon that would have showed us so much but okay can't linger on that because obviously they maybe did not want to show people what was up there yes I understand they could crash our system right but if it's it just it bugs me if that if the only reason is because of that because of the damn system and the the money I don't believe it it can't be you know and for those that are worried and a couple of you not many of you but yes there are a couple of you that actually messaged me that were very worried about my findings and we're very concerned about the religions I wouldn't be concerned about your religions and I don't have information about God and nor does anyone here on earth and no one knows that they have virtual information if any at all so say to yourself keep your faith no matter what religion you are no matter how spiritual you are I'm I've gone my own way I believe in what I believe it's not anyone's business actually and but yes I love sharing it but it's actually not anyone's business we each have an individuality and um, a choice in life it's called being a human being 
Richard McPhee, brother, second time contribution. $15. Man, it's really heartwarming you guys are doing this uh, for me. I really appreciate you. I love you guys. And I can't thank you guys enough. It means a lot. Richard, I know it means uh, just as much to you and many of others. This entire list, guys, and all of you out there I know really are supporting me. But, guys, I can't thank you enough. Richard, thanks a lot, brother, from the heart. 